Hi, my name is Randy Grover. I've been uh, a Canadian citizen since birth, January 12, 1965. I've been here living through a lot. I've seen, you know, I've seen the 60s bring in the 70s. You know, before that, life was basically black and white. So, don't mind me, I'm doing my chores. Anyway, I'm uh, here to just give you a little bit of information on who I am, what I am and what I'm not. I'm just uh, an everyday Canadian dude. I worked all my life. I'm 59 years old. Be 60 come January. Today is uh, what, uh, May the 12th, I think, 2024. And we are uh, we are moving into a uh, weird vibrational thing going on in the atmosphere and everything around us. And I've been experiencing some stuff that you know everyday ordinary people don't experience and it's something I can't explain to anyone so it's been you know years and years that I've been a normal everyday laborer I don't do much more right now I you know I'm, I deliver tires for a company where I'm locally working from so anyway they uh, they give me the opportunity to to drive and see the sky. And since July of last month, or of last year, 2023, the sky has been showing me things that a normal everyday man shouldn't be seeing consistently. It started out years ago. I seen a UAP. 2005 and then something again in 2013 and 2014 and, and now you know uh, last five years things have progressed and uh, fortunately we've got the internet to, to validate my journey because yeah, when I seen the first one on my way to, I think I was heading to St. John, and it was keeping pace with me. I had to pull over and take a picture of it. Then I just kept on going, right? Never thought to look at it until I got home. And, you know, that was that. I seen the UAP a couple of years ago. Friends of mine on Facebook were there, they see it, they comment. Most didn't comment. And uh, life went on. And uh, fast forward a few more times, uh, I caught stuff in my pictures, but I wasn't sure what it was. So I was taking a lot of pictures because I thought there was something going on with uh, solar radiation management. and geoengineering so I was keeping track of contrails and, and information on the internet about what was going on up there and it was just always a big run around so, but I had a Facebook group where I was posting stuff and so it proved that I was always watching the skies and seeing UAP you know it was pretty bizarre but unexplainable and then the last summer in July I ended up doing something for you know delivering for this company we moved into a new warehouse and uh, I get this feeling that overcome me at the stoplight This 
feeling said, you know, take pictures of these clouds. So I'm like, okay. So I was sort of like instructed to take five shots. Take five shots. So it's click, 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 whatever, right on my phone. And then I go to work. And I park and I look at the pictures and there's a fleet of something way up in the clouds, right? Like we all know the clouds are about two kilometers up there. So this was not a, wasn't really a grouping of birds. So yeah, looked in at it and it looked like a cluster of UAP traveling through the clouds. And in, in, and in the five, like I couldn't see them when I first took the picture. I'd just take a picture of the clouds, but as I looked into the clouds, like I was instructed to, to take a look, right? It's just what I was told in my head by, well, not even my head, my just intuition was to take the pictures and then look deep into the pictures because I was starting to notice that in my contrail pictures, there were things that I couldn't explain. The first thought was maybe bugs or birds, but more, more showed up here and there. And so the five picture thing became a thing. I'm home one day and uh, I'm standing at the side door of my driveway to the house and I get this feeling, take pictures now. It's instinctive drive, take pictures of the sky now. Take five. So I took five pictures of the sky outside my my driveway. And then I went and looked inside the pictures and in each picture there was a UAP. And it was in a different location, different spot in each picture as it has had been zipping across the sky. I'm like, well, I didn't see that. Are they moving that fast that I can click off five pictures? in, you know, two and a half seconds is all it takes, maybe. And then catch this UAP. It's like, wow, that's crazy, right? That's just so weird. So I don't know how long it was after that, whether it was a couple of days or a week or whatever. I'm staying at my front step, having a cigarette, Enjoying the view across the street. I've always got a beautiful view of the sky above my neighbor's house. And he's got a beautiful yard and I'm enjoying the sky and she the cloud floated by and it looked like a ginormous pokeball behind a mist of white. Pokeball, look at that. It's just staring right down at me. And it's kind of rolling sideways as it's going by, like it's staring at me. And I'm like, what the heck is that Pokeball in the clouds? So I ran in, I didn't have my phone, I ran in the house, got my phone, I come back out, and I took pictures of it as it had been passing by. The backside of it, so it didn't look like it had looked when I had taken the pictures. Or when I had seen it before I had taken the pictures. So I'm looking through the pictures, and sure enough, I caught UAP, and not just one, but two, and two different types. There was this dark one that was, you know, floating above and behind and back. Of these five pictures, I could see it almost looked like it was, there was it was trailing a pokeball and maybe one in front of it, the pokeball at a different spot, and then one above and one below, but the one below popped out like golden chiclet, or like a golden Tic Tac. It was just shiny, like golden shiny, and it was a Claire's Bell, and, and then, you know, you look up through the cloud, and there's this black one that looks like a black tic tac. Okay. So it's like definite. I'm getting some kind of message from the universe to, to take these pictures. 
because every time I do, there's something in them. And how often does somebody take a pictures and they find a new AP in each individual picture? Yeah, every day. Like I can do it every day. I know now, since last July, what I'm looking for in the clouds. As long as there's clouds, I can't just, yeah, I can't just, you know, pick out UAP when there's no cloud. But yeah, you give me cloud coverage and I give you, I give you anomalies that you've never, well, you've dreamed of. Because we've all been children and we dream of what, you know, I've been exposed to from the universe in the last nine, ten months. And I'm not, yeah, I'm not like rushing out to tell you this newfound discovery. I've been, I've been researching what I'm doing and, and the questions that I'm asking the universe are being answered almost instantaneously. And I'm not sure why, because I'm not religious. I, you know, I've learned over the years about meditation and I've learned about positive energy and negative energy and, and, you know, just the whole kind of do good karma yada yada stuff right there's you know you always want to think positive thoughts you know that kind of stuff so little did I know that because I had a brain injury back in like 86 I was in an accident and yeah I was in a coma and yeah whatever just a long story there but so I was never I could never continue to stay focused on a lot of things. I had a lot of social issues and I had ended up sort of isolating myself. I went through some alcohol issues and some drug issues. Anyway, you know, trying to get a, a quenching of this internal thing that was going on inside of me that I didn't know over the years. I know a little more now. But, uh, now I'm, every day I'm seeing UAP. I've got a, you know, I've got a group, a private group that I have friends in. Some just watch, but they're, they're watching closely of all the different things that I'm showing and the repetitiveness now of it and, and the things that I'm pointing to that are universal. Like what the universe has exposed to me with these cloud images and the, the UAP and yeah. Now I, you know, I'm onto bubbles. There's this whole electric universe, and it's right in our faces. And it's, you know, and I would never have known if it weren't for my phone. My S23 exposed things to me because the the, the pictures are so wow, right? And my wife is always saying, "Wow, those are really great pictures." Well, now I'm I'm realizing that I was picking up all these UAPs in my old images of the sky, but I just wasn't looking for them. Well, now I'm looking for them and it's unbelievable how easy it is to look at the, the electric universe and know that what we are here, that this, this planet is here for a purpose that, you know, it comes later with the discovery of everything that I was given, you know, this is just an introduction to me and I can't really think about a lot more to say. I just wanted to say that I've been given some kind of gift. I'm just a layman. I'm just an everyday guy. I don't have any more education. I never finished high school until I was 45. Like I got my upgrading diploma. So like I'm nobody and then all this stuff started happening to me and my world around me changed and reality became something that, you know, I've tried to get out to other people, but a lot of people just aren't getting it. They're not grasping it. And I can't really explain it in text and, and on. So whenever something comes to my head, I, I look for it. I share what I learn in the group and on my Twitter X account and hoping that as I'm storing all this stuff, one day somebody will come along and say, well, what's this about? What's this about? What's this about? What's this about? Because they're curious as to 
why I know something that nobody else in the whole wide world does. Or if there is somebody else in the world that knows about it, why haven't they come out or have they come out and they've been shut down? I'm hoping that I don't get shut down. But I do seem like the only guy that knows what's going on. I'm watching videos on YouTube from, you know, these people who watch ET videos and, and alien flights and all these different weird things that are happening now. And I got an answer. And you'd be amazed how simple it is. So until next time, thanks for sitting here for 15 minutes and hopefully you're curious enough to ask some questions. Maybe I can bring some solutions to something. And if you ask for my group, on Facebook here that should be somewhere seen in the description below I'm new to this it's all new to me so the first cut I'm not editing I can't do that I'm not wise enough I don't have uh, the functioning to focus so here you go happy Mother's Day <laughs>